Welcome to Breakthrough. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to click the subscribe button followed by the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Have you ever noticed in your own life something that you always hide from? <laughs> I'm getting kind of personal. I'm messing with you a little bit. But is there something that you always hide from? And uh, it, maybe the most, some of the most obvious things are, uh, you know, when, when you go to the grocery store and you, you happen to be walking around pushing your cart and you see so-and-so three aisles over but they haven't seen me yet and you know how you kind of hide behind something and you're like i hope they didn't see me <laughs> yeah so so but but let me go a little further with that uh especially uh if i speak to some some guys out there that are dads are you hiding from your kids are you afraid to be a dad are you afraid to lead your wife or are you afraid to lead your kids are you afraid to be that intimate and, and, and uh, you know, because intimacy gets a bad name, too, because we think int int intimacy is about sex or about uh, something along the lines of there. But, but intimacy, real true intimacy, comes uh, through relationship. And, and that's the kind of relationship that God wants to have with us. He doesn't want us to be uh, veiled off. He doesn't want, matter of fact, when Jesus died, the veil in the temple was rent from the top. It's as if God took his hands and went rip and opened up to us a whole new degree of intimacy that, that before was only uh, set aside for certain individuals, certain uh, people groups. And, and, and we, we have that same ability right now to walk all the way into, as a matter of fact, the, ver the word says we can boldly go <laughs> into the throne room of grace. I love that word, throne room of grace, because uh, we, we all need the grace of God in our life. I, I, I think we get stuck, though, sometimes when we start thinking about grace, we think about the people who, who are really sinners, I, I, you know, the ones that are really bad in our life. And we always think, well, man, they, they really need the grace of God. They need the mercy and grace of God. And, uh, and, and then we look at ourselves in the mirror and we, we justify, we stand justified because we're really not that bad, you know, and so we don't really need a lot of grace. Uh, we don't need that much mercy from God because we're really pretty good. And I'm going to tell you, let me just flatline that whole idea because every one of us needs grace. We need the same grace. We need the same mercy. If I don't have grace and mercy from God, I don't have anything. If you don't have it, you have nothing either. And we can't stand to justify ourselves because that's really kind of the hard part about being a Christian is because we think, well, I go to church, I do this, and we begin to balance out uh, how good we are or how well our, our relationship with God is going. And, and, and we start saying things like, I'm blessed and highly favored of the Lord. And, and we begin to walk that out and, and we, and we get, begin to give Jesus a bad name. We begin to uh, obscure or hide, hide around behind this, this ugly word called religion. And relationship with God is nothing has nothing to do with religion it's not a set certain time of day or a certain food we eat or anything like that 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 makes us holy or righteous it's the blood of Jesus Christ the same blood the same grace the same mercy uh, that that all of us need and the all of the world needs and yet we are called and chosen by God to be spokesmen and image bearers and and reflectors of what has happened and transpired in our own heart and life and we carry that into the world, sometimes through some of the worst circumstances and some of the some of the uh, the hardest things we ever have to walk through in our life. But but I'm required to have hope. Hope that doesn't come from me. I don't look at my circumstances for hope. I look up to the one who has delivered me and set me free. Amen. So so there's a veil though, almost a covering. And and, and I think until you get saved, until something uh, sparks in your soul in your heart then that veil is removed and we can begin to see, really see, really know, really understand new things. That's like that prayer that I pr uh, pray at the beginning of almost every sermon is, is I need wisdom from God. I can't just stand here and, and talk about the Word of God without the Spirit of God guiding me. He, he speaks through me. And I think it's very powerful when you think about that. It, it, it's not just the pastor Who's, who, who the word comes in and goes out and speaks out into the world, but it's each and every one of us that are saved. Each and every one of us who have experienced or been touched 
by the grace and mercy of God, now can begin to speak about that. It's not any different than when we get a brand new car. <laughs> We get a brand new car, we tell everybody about it. We, we put it on Facebook, we put, take pictures of it, we're excited about it, and we begin to be a spokesperson. And we never got paid by the people that bought, we bought the car from, but yet we, we are giving our representation of that to all of the world to see, for all of it to see, and we do it for free. <laughs> because what we love, we, we do for free. That's what we really do. We give it away. And that's what lo real love always does, gives away, gives, gives, gives. You know, I was walking out of the house uh, just the other day, and uh, I, uh, as I, I go out through the through the what we call the mud room, I was I was standing there, and I was getting ready to leave, and I was tired, and I I had set some stuff down on the on the dryer and and uh, on the wash machine, and I, I I I was standing there, and I was put put my shoes on, and I just stood there for a moment, and I I, I was I was st began to stare at the dial on the washing machine, and I, I happened to notice that. There's all kinds of different functions on the dial. There's, uh, uh, there's the fill, uh, there's the, the, the rinse, there's the, the spin, uh, uh, there, there's the, the, the agitate, agitation cycle, the, uh, the wash cycle, you know, how it does the shake and all that. And uh, I noticed that there's a lot of cycles and, and I noticed that all of those cycles, all of those functions on the cycle are all part of the the end goal which is clean right <laughs> so if i put clothes in that wash machine uh, and it goes through the cycle when i take the clothes out of the, the out of there i expect that they will be clean and and i i, I noticed that uh, you know all of the parts of the cycle are not always pretty <laughs> some are violent some are kind of scary and uh and and and, and i and as I, I go a little further with that i begin to think about my own life because uh, i think the spirit of god comes into us and it and it and it, it wants to run the full cycle it wants to go through every single area <laughs> can i say it like this i i said it uh, a few days ago uh, i was preaching and i said this i said if jesus was to come to your house how how far into your house would you let him come because he's standing there knocking. If you imagine this with me, he's standing there knocking at the door. And would you open the door or would you hide? Would you be like, you know, use that verse in Genesis that says, you know, Lord, I, I would have let you in, but I was naked and afraid. <laughs> you know, would you, would, you, would, you, would you open the door and let him in and say, and say uh, you know, just stay right here. I'll get you something to drink. Or would you let him come into the, into the living room? Would you let him come into that front room? You know, the one where it's all pretty and all the stuff is put away. Would, would you let him go and open every closet? Would you take him into the bedroom and show him what's going on in there? Would you take him to the kitchen? Would you take him in the base? How far into your house, up, how far up in your business would you let Jesus come? Would you let him come all the way in? And, and, and in, that, in that, that analogy, we see that the cycle for us to be clean, he has to come all the way in. He has to go into every relationship. He has to go into everything I'm... I, I talk about everything I look at. He has to come in and go into every thought. Hebrews 4 verse 12 says, He knows the thought and intent of my heart. Before I speak it out, He already knows what's going on inside. And I, I, I don't want to hide from that. Can, 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 I, can you feel me there? I don't want to hide from God anymore. I don't want to hold back uh, parts of my life and not let Him have all of my life. Because... That's really what he's after. He's after somebody, maybe it's you, maybe it's me, who is willing to give him all, all of our life. A a amen? The, the good parts. And, you know, when I was growing up, we used to watch this show called The Three Musketeers. And, uh, and they would say, they had this saying, he says, they would say, all for one and one for all. And, and I, that was kind of a, a good saying because they all understood that Whatever happened, they were all in. And, 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 and as a Christian, Jesus gave his life for all. And he's looking for one who would give him, Jesus, their all right back. <laughs> That's really powerful right there. Uh, but sin by nature is really ugly. That's why we need grace. Amen. Uh, the, the true, a, a true life-changing relationship with God will bring you to a place 
of intimacy. I, I want you to think about that. I want to be intimate with the Almighty God. I want Him to know me. I want Him to walk with me. I want to walk into a room and I want the room to, to, to know that, that I love God. I want them to know that, I, that He's with me. I want them to know that He is for me. I want them to know that, that whatever's going on, uh, my God is able, more than, more than able. He's well able, okay? 